I bet you'll never forget the list comprehension after watching this. Think of list comprehension as a shortcut for creating lists. Instead of writing long loops, you can do it in just one line. Plus, you can even add conditions to filter the data. Suppose we want to create a new list containing numbers from 1 to 10. First, let's see how we can do this using a for loop. We start by creating a variable called numbers, which holds an empty list. Then, we add a for loop using the range function, where the start value is 1 and the end value is 11 because we want numbers from 1 to 10. Inside the loop, we simply append each number to our list. Finally, we print the output. When we run this, it gives us a list of numbers from 1 to 10, just as we wanted. Now let's see how we can do this with list comprehension. It's very simple. First, we create a variable called numbers, just like before. Then, instead of using a loop, we use square brackets to write everything in a single line. Inside the brackets, we place the same for loop with the range function since it acts as our iterable. Before this iterable, we simply write x because we want each value of x in our list. When we run this, it gives us a list of numbers from 1 to 10, all in just one line. Now what if we want only the even numbers? We can just add a condition inside the list comprehension. This condition filters out only the even numbers. When we run this, we get a new list containing only even numbers.